Who likes making embarrassing mistakes? Not noticing that your kill switch is triggered is one we'd like to avoid. Hi, I'm Sean from Lens Cove Lessons and Boating. In our service department, we field phone calls all season long, people who can't get their boat started. And often, it's a legitimate issue. There's a problem with the engine or problem with the battery or, or some other issue is causing that engine not to be able to start. Then there's the other things like out of fuel or a dead battery, and those things can happen. Then there's things like if your boat engine isn't in neutral and the shift isn't straight up and down, your boat engine won't start. And that's because the engine has what's called a neutral safety switch that prevents you from starting it in either forward or reverse. But the most common call we get is for a boat that won't start and it ends up that the engine kill switch isn't on. In today's video, we're gonna just talk about why that is, why there is an engine kill switch, and then just show you how to make sure it's in the proper position. So an engine kill switch is really designed to protect you. And that is that it has a switch with a lanyard or a cord on it that's designed to be clipped to your body so that when you are driving down the lake or ocean or river and you are hitting potential large waves or something causes the boat to jar quickly, hitting an obstruction like a log or a rock, that can really throw you and can in theory throw you out of the seat. And the idea being that as you do, if you are thrown from the driver's seat, that cord is attached to you and will pull that and emergency kill the engine. We don't find people use it that way very often, unfortunately. It's a great tool, particularly if you're nervous or if you're out in some really rough seas, we always recommend that you use the emergency kill cord. It will protect you and the other occupants of the boat because if you are thrown against the other side and knocked unconscious, well, that boat is still running down the lake and that's extremely dangerous. However, this kill cord or emergency lanyard stop switch is not used very often and is usually seen exactly like this, just curled up beside your remote control on your boat. And what's really true a lot is that there are different variations. There's some that are typically an on-off switch. Mercury and Volvo have those more commonly. And then there are other ones that have actually a little button that when you pull the cord out, the button goes in and that shuts off the engine. And it's really amazing how easy it is to inadvertently knock it. And so we'll have people who call into the dealership and ask for help because their boat won't start. And one of the first questions once we've talked to them about it is, did you check your emergency kill switch? And people tend to get defensive. Oh, it's not that, I didn't touch it. But it's amazing how easy it is to, when you're sitting down in the seat or you're turning to talk to someone in the boat or even standing up and you put your hand to push against, you can inadvertently knock that or someone else might knock it by mistake. And even being out just a little teeny bit will cause that engine not to start. So whenever you have a no start condition, always check that first. It'd be one of the first things you do after you check to make sure you're in neutral, you would check to make sure that the kill cord is in and I take it right out and put it right back in and make sure it's seated properly. After that, if it still won't start, then there obviously is something else wrong. So save yourself an embarrassing phone call. If your boat won't start or dies all of a sudden, make sure you check your kill switch well before you place a call to the dealership. It's not that we don't want to help, we do. It just might save you a little bit of embarrassment in the end. Thanks for joining us on today's Lensco Lessons in Boating. Make sure you subscribe to get on board for more of these type of videos. If you like today's video, make sure you throttle that like button, get out on the water, have fun, and stay safe.